Throughout history, the world has seen its fair share of cunning criminals. I can be very friendly, but the minute I feel something is wrong, I'm all business. But few have matched the audacity and ingenuity of the world's smartest smugglers. These individuals have masterminded some of the most elaborate and daring operations to transport illicit goods across borders, often outwitting authorities with their creative and often ingenious methods. From using high-tech gadgets to exploiting loopholes in security systems, these smugglers have turned illegal trade into an art form. Ready to uncover the minds behind these extraordinary schemes? Gold concealed in soap. At Mangalore International Airport, customs officials made a surprising discovery when they seized gold hidden in soap bars and chocolate syrup. This incident underscores the lengths to which smugglers will go to avoid detection. The clever concealment methods used by these smugglers highlight the ongoing challenges faced by customs authorities in identifying and intercepting illegal goods. In a separate but similar incident at Tirupati International Airport, officials uncovered over $50,000 worth of gold concealed within hollowed-out soap bars. This case further illustrates the innovative tactics employed by smugglers who often utilize everyday items to mask their illicit cargo. The use of soap as a concealment method not only raises eyebrows, but also demonstrates the creativity of those attempting to bypass customs regulations. These incidents are part of a broader trend in smuggling operations where common consumer products are manipulated to hide valuable contraband. In some cases, smugglers have carved out slots in popular brands of soap, taping gold jewelry inside to evade detection by customs officers. Such tactics reflect a significant challenge for law enforcement agencies, as they must remain vigilant against increasingly sophisticated smuggling techniques. The implications of these smuggling operations extend beyond mere legal violations. They can also have economic and social consequences. The illegal gold trade often circumvents taxes and regulations impacting legitimate businesses and government revenues. Furthermore, the presence of unregulated goods in the market can lead to public safety concerns. As customs officials continue to encounter such inventive smuggling methods, it becomes imperative for them to enhance their detection capabilities. Training and technology play crucial roles in identifying suspicious shipments and preventing illegal goods from entering the market. The vigilance displayed by customs authorities at both Mangalore and Tirupati airports serves as a testament to their commitment to upholding the law and protecting public interests. Before we delve into the topic, consider this alarming revelation. Recent investigations have uncovered illegal substances hidden within watermelons, raising serious concerns about food safety and public health. This unexpected discovery highlights the lengths to which individuals may go to smuggle contraband, using everyday items as deceptive vessels. Are you aware of this troubling trend? If not, what are your thoughts on the implications of such actions? Share your opinions in the comments below! Cigarettes Inside Tree Trunks Russian smugglers have developed a creative yet illegal method to transport cigarettes from Belarus into Poland by hollowing out tree trunks. This scheme involved carving out the insides of logs to create concealed compartments for the smuggled goods. The operation aimed to exploit the natural appearance of the timber to evade detection by customs officials. The ruse was uncovered at the Yagadin checkpoint, where customs agents became suspicious due to the unusually heavy weight of the logs being transported. Upon further inspection, they discovered that these logs were not simply timber. They contained a significant quantity of contraband. In total, customs officials found 27 tons of timber, which concealed an impressive 25,000 packets of cigarettes. The discovery highlights the lengths to which smugglers will go to bypass regulations and profit from illegal activities. By using tree trunks as a disguise, they attempted to blend in with legitimate shipments of wood, making it challenging for authorities to detect their illicit cargo. However, the vigilance of customs officials played a crucial role in uncovering this operation. The difficulties that law enforcement continues to encounter in the fight against human trafficking and smuggling 
are brought to light by this incident. Smugglers often employ innovative tactics to circumvent laws and regulations, necessitating constant vigilance and adaptation by customs and border protection agencies. The successful interception of this shipment not only prevented the illegal distribution of cigarettes, but also underscored the importance of thorough inspections at checkpoints. The ramifications of such smuggling operations extend beyond mere legal violations. They can have significant public health implications as well. The illegal cigarette trade often bypasses health regulations and taxes, leading to increased availability of unregulated tobacco products. This can contribute to higher smoking rates and associated health risks within communities. Family Smuggling Cash A family that appeared to be innocent was caught trying to cross the border with an incredible $400,000 in cartel money. The incident occurred when border agents noticed suspicious tampering around the vehicle's windshield wipers, prompting a thorough inspection. This led to the discovery of the concealed cash, revealing a sophisticated smuggling operation that involved a small family unit. The family, consisting of a husband, wife, an aunt, and their son, was allegedly coordinating money couriers for a drug cartel. Their involvement in this illicit activity highlights the troubling trend of families being drawn into organized crime. This case is not isolated. It reflects a broader pattern where individuals and families become entangled in the operations of drug trafficking organizations, often under coercion or financial duress. Authorities have reported that such operations frequently utilize everyday vehicles to transport large sums of money across borders. The use of tampering techniques to hide cash is a common tactic among smugglers aiming to evade detection by law enforcement. In this instance, the family's attempt to disguise their illegal activities ultimately failed due to the keen observation skills of border agents. The ramifications of cash smuggling are significant, as it fuels the operations of drug cartels and contributes to ongoing violence and crime associated with the drug trade. The funds generated from these illicit activities are often used to finance further criminal enterprises, perpetuating a cycle of violence and instability. Furthermore, this case raises questions about the involvement of families in such operations. Many individuals may feel compelled to participate in smuggling due to economic pressures or threats from criminal organizations. Law enforcement agencies face the challenge of addressing not only the smuggling itself, but also the underlying factors that drive individuals and families into these dangerous situations. Drugs hidden in car seat An alarming $200,000 worth of drugs concealed inside a car seat were discovered by border patrols during a recent inspection. This significant seizure highlights the ongoing battle against drug smuggling as authorities remain vigilant in their efforts to combat the illegal drug trade. The discovery was made during routine checks at a border crossing, where officers are trained to identify suspicious modifications or concealment methods in vehicles. The drugs were ingeniously hidden within the car seat, demonstrating the lengths to which traffickers will go to evade detection. Such tactics are becoming increasingly common as smugglers adapt their methods to exploit gaps in security. Drug trafficking remains a critical issue, with criminal organizations employing complex schemes to transport narcotics across borders. The involvement of organized crime in drug smuggling has devastating effects on communities, contributing to addiction, violence, and social disruption. Law enforcement agencies are continuously working to dismantle these networks and prevent illegal substances from reaching the streets. The apprehension of the driver involved in this incident underscores the legal consequences of participating in drug smuggling operations. Authorities are committed to prosecuting individuals who engage in these activities, aiming to deter others from similar actions. The fight against drug trafficking is multifaceted, involving not only interception at borders but also targeting the financial infrastructures that support these criminal organizations. In response to the rising threat of drug smuggling, Agencies like Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, have intensified their strategies. They focus on targeting criminal networks, enhancing global partnerships, and employing advanced technology to monitor and intercept illegal shipments. By addressing both the supply and demand sides of the drug trade, law enforcement aims to mitigate the impact of narcotics on society. The ongoing difficulties border patrols face in stopping drug trafficking are exemplified by the discovery of drugs concealed in a car seat. In order to preserve public safety and enforce the law, 
law enforcement officials must continue to be alert and flexible in their enforcement efforts as smugglers continue to create increasingly complex ways to transport drugs. Snakes taped to a smuggler's body. Using a novel tactic that ultimately resulted in his arrest, a Norwegian man tried to smuggle 14 royal pythons taped around his torso. Customs officials discovered this bizarre concealment strategy during a routine check when they noticed a tarantula in his luggage. This incident not only highlights the lengths smugglers will go to, but also the ongoing challenges faced by customs authorities in detecting illegal wildlife trafficking. The discovery of the pythons was particularly significant given the increasing concern over the illegal wildlife trade, which poses threats to biodiversity and conservation efforts. Royal pythons, while not currently endangered, are often sought after in the exotic pet trade, making them a target for smugglers looking to profit from their sale. The act of taping these snakes to his body demonstrates a disturbing trend where individuals resort to extreme measures to transport live animals across borders. Smuggling live animals is a serious offense in many countries due to the potential health risks and ecological impacts associated with such activities. The use of unconventional methods like body concealment raises critical questions about enforcement capabilities at border crossings. Customs officials are tasked with identifying not only traditional smuggling methods, but also these more creative tactics that exploit human anatomy for concealment. In this case, the presence of a tarantula in the man's luggage may have drawn attention, leading authorities to conduct a more thorough search. This incident serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of wildlife smuggling operations, where various species can be involved simultaneously. The apprehension of this individual underscores the importance of vigilance among customs agents in detecting and preventing illegal wildlife trafficking. An example of the continuous fight against wildlife trafficking is the attempt to smuggle 14 royal pythons and tape them to a smuggler's body. Woman attempting to smuggle husband out of prison. Maria Delmar Orjono attempted to smuggle her husband out of prison inside a suitcase during a conjugal visit, a plan that ultimately failed due to her nervous demeanor raising suspicions among prison guards. During the visit, the guards noticed her unusual behavior, prompting them to conduct a thorough inspection of the suitcase. Their investigation revealed her husband hidden inside, leading to immediate consequences for both. This incident highlights the extreme measures individuals may take to assist loved ones in escaping incarceration. The use of a suitcase as a concealment method reflects a desperate attempt to exploit the conjugal visit system, which is typically designed to allow inmates and their partners private time together. However, such actions undermine the integrity of prison security protocols and pose significant risk. The case also raises important questions about the effectiveness of current security measures during visitation hours. While conjugal visits are intended to maintain family connections, they can also be exploited by individuals seeking to facilitate escapes or smuggle contraband. This incident serves as a reminder that prison authorities must remain vigilant and continuously assess their procedures to prevent similar occurrences. In this situation, Orhono's actions not only jeopardized her husband's safety but also resulted in legal repercussions for herself. Authorities are likely to impose strict penalties for attempted escape, which can include additional prison time for both parties involved. Such outcomes serve as a deterrent against future attempts by inmates and their accomplices. Moreover, this incident reflects broader trends in prison escapes and smuggling operations. As individuals become increasingly creative in their methods, law enforcement agencies must adapt their strategies to counteract these evolving threats. The use of technology and enhanced surveillance can play critical roles in preventing such incidents from occurring in the future. Man Hidden in Car Seat At the Calexico West Port entry, border officers made a startling discovery when they found a 48-year-old man concealed beneath the rear seat cushions of a vehicle. This incident underscores the extreme measures some individuals will take to cross borders illegally, highlighting the ongoing challenges faced by law enforcement in combating human smuggling. The man's concealment under the car seat is indicative of the lengths to which smugglers go to evade detection. 
Such tactics reflect a desperate attempt to bypass security measures at border crossings, where authorities are constantly on alert for suspicious activities. The use of vehicle compartments for hiding individuals is not uncommon, as smugglers often exploit every available space to transport people across borders undetected. This case also raises significant safety concerns. Concealing individuals in such cramped and unsafe environments can lead to serious health risks, including suffocation and injury during transit. Border officials are increasingly aware of these dangers and are implementing more rigorous inspection protocols to uncover hidden passengers or contraband. The discovery of the man hidden in the car seat serves as a reminder of the broader issues surrounding human trafficking and smuggling networks. Many individuals seeking to cross borders illegally are often vulnerable and may be coerced into such dangerous situations by smugglers who prioritize profit over safety. Law enforcement agencies are tasked with not only intercepting these operations, but also addressing the underlying social and economic factors that drive individuals to risk their lives in search of better opportunities. The incident at Calexico West Port Entry illustrates the ongoing battle against human smuggling and the innovative methods employed by traffickers. As authorities continue to enhance their detection capabilities, it is crucial to remain vigilant against these evolving tactics and ensure that border security measures effectively protect both individuals and national interests. Drone Smugglers Caught on Camera in 2017, a gang successfully utilized a drone to deliver contraband into a prison, showcasing the increasing sophistication of smuggling operations. The ringleader, who orchestrated the flights from behind bars, managed to coordinate multiple deliveries of items such as weapons and drugs. This innovative method of smuggling not only highlights the challenges faced by prison authorities, but also illustrates the lengths to which individuals will go to maintain their criminal enterprises. The use of drones in smuggling operations has gained traction since the advent of consumer-grade drones, particularly after the release of models like the DJI Phantom. These drones are relatively inexpensive and easy to operate, making them attractive tools for smugglers. In this case, the ringleader's ability to manage drone deliveries while incarcerated demonstrates a concerning trend where technology is leveraged to circumvent security measures. Drones have been increasingly employed to transport contraband into prisons, with reports indicating that they can carry various items, including drugs and cell phones. The aerial advantage allows smugglers to bypass traditional security protocols, making it difficult for prison staff to detect and intercept these deliveries. The sophistication of these operations has led to heightened concerns among law enforcement and prison officials regarding the potential for increased violence and illicit activities within correctional facilities. The consequences of such smuggling activities are severe. The ringleader received an extended prison sentence for his involvement in orchestrating these drone flights, underscoring the legal repercussions of engaging in such criminal behavior. Law enforcement agencies are now tasked with developing strategies to combat this emerging threat, which includes enhancing surveillance capabilities and implementing anti-drone technologies. As smugglers continue to adapt their methods, authorities must remain vigilant and proactive in their efforts to thwart these operations. The intersection of technology and crime presents ongoing challenges for law enforcement, necessitating a collaborative approach to address the evolving landscape of smuggling. Phones strapped to body. In an attempt to evade high import taxes in China, a man was caught with 94 iPhones strapped to his body. This unusual method of concealment drew the attention of customs officials, resulting in his arrest. The incident highlights the extreme lengths individuals may go to in order to smuggle valuable electronics across borders. The man's strategy involved strapping the iPhones directly to his torso, a method that not only posed significant physical discomfort but also raised immediate suspicions among customs agents. Such attempts to bypass import regulations are not uncommon, particularly for high-demand items like smartphones, which can incur substantial tariffs in certain countries. Customs officials are increasingly vigilant regarding smuggling tactics that involve concealing goods on one's person. 
The discovery of such a large quantity of iPhones underscores the ongoing challenges faced by border control agencies in detecting and preventing illegal importation of goods. Electronics, especially popular models like the iPhone, are frequently targeted by smugglers due to their high resale value and demand in various markets. This incident also raises important questions about the effectiveness of current customs procedures and the need for enhanced inspection techniques. As smugglers become more creative in their methods, authorities must adapt their strategies to identify and intercept illegal shipments effectively. The use of body concealment reflects a troubling trend where individuals risk their safety and legal standing for financial gain. Moreover, the repercussions for the individual caught smuggling these iPhones can be severe, including potential criminal charges and significant fines. The case serves as a reminder of the legal risks associated with smuggling activities and the broader implications for trade compliance. Live Hummingbirds in Pants A Dutch traveler was detained for attempting to smuggle live hummingbirds sewn into his pants a bizarre and illegal method that ultimately led to his arrest. This incident is particularly notable as it was not the first offense for the individual. He had previously been convicted for similar smuggling attempts, indicating a pattern of disregard for wildlife protection laws. The attempt to conceal live birds in such an unconventional manner raises serious concerns about animal welfare and the illegal wildlife trade. Hummingbirds, while not endangered, are still protected under various international agreements aimed at preventing the trafficking of wildlife. Smuggling live animals poses significant risks not only to the creatures themselves, but also to ecosystems if these species are improperly introduced into new environments. Customs officials are increasingly vigilant in their efforts to combat wildlife smuggling, employing advanced inspection techniques to detect hidden animals. The discovery of hummingbirds sewn into a traveler's clothing exemplifies the extreme lengths individuals will go to evade detection while attempting to profit from illegal activities. This case also highlights the broader issue of wildlife trafficking, which is estimated to be worth billions of dollars globally. The illegal trade in animals can lead to significant ecological consequences, including the decline of certain species and disruption of local ecosystems. Furthermore, smugglers often subject animals to inhumane conditions during transport leading to suffering and high mortality rates. The legal repercussions for such smuggling attempts can be severe, including hefty fines and imprisonment. Authorities are working diligently to enforce laws designed to protect wildlife and prevent illegal trafficking. This includes international cooperation among customs agencies and wildlife protection organizations to share intelligence and enhance enforcement efforts. Law enforcement's continued struggles to combat wildlife trafficking are highlighted by a Dutch traveler's attempt to smuggle live hummingbirds sewn into his pants. Truckload of Ammunition Discovered In Brownsville, Texas, authorities discovered thousands of rounds of ammunition hidden in a pickup truck's bed liner, underscoring ongoing concerns regarding arms smuggling across the U.S.-Mexico border. This incident reflects the persistent challenges faced by law enforcement in monitoring and preventing illegal arms trafficking, which poses significant risks to public safety and security. The seizures highlight the methods used by smugglers to conceal contraband, often utilizing the hidden compartments of vehicles to evade detection. In this case, the ammunition was cleverly concealed within the bed liner of the truck, making it difficult for customs officials to identify during routine inspections. Such tactics are becoming increasingly common as traffickers adapt their strategies to exploit weaknesses in border security. Arms smuggling is a critical issue that contributes to violence and crime in both the United States and Mexico. The flow of illegal firearms and ammunition into Mexico has been linked to the activities of drug cartels and other criminal organizations, exacerbating violence and instability in the region. The discovery of large quantities of ammunition like this not only indicates ongoing smuggling operations, but also raises alarms about the potential for these weapons to be used in further criminal activities. U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, plays a vital role in intercepting illegal shipments and enforcing laws related to arms trafficking. Their efforts include enhanced inspection at border crossings and collaboration with other law enforcement agencies to dismantle smuggling networks. 
the recent seizure in Brownsville is part of a broader strategy to combat arms trafficking and ensure that dangerous materials do not end up in the hands of criminals. As authorities continue to confront these challenges, it is essential for them to remain vigilant and adaptive in their enforcement efforts. The ongoing threat posed by arms smuggling requires a comprehensive approach that includes intelligence sharing, community engagement, and robust law enforcement operations. A sobering reminder of the difficulties in stopping arms smuggling across the U.S.-Mexico border was provided by the discovery of thousands of rounds of ammunition concealed in a pickup truck in Brownsville. Law enforcement must improve their tactics to safeguard public safety and enforce the rule of law as smugglers continue to create creative concealment techniques. Man Dressed as Car Seat for Research In an unusual experiment aimed at studying public reactions to autonomous vehicles, a man disguised himself as a car seat while driving. This humorous approach provided researchers with valuable data on how people perceive driverless cars. Conducted by the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute and funded by Ford, the study sought to explore how self-driving vehicles should communicate with pedestrians and other road users. The experiment arose from the need to understand the non-verbal cues that human drivers typically use, such as eye contact or hand gestures, which are absent in autonomous vehicles. By disguising himself as a car seat, the researcher was able to observe how pedestrians reacted to a vehicle that appeared to be driverless. This innovative method allowed for a unique perspective on public perception and interaction with self-driving technology. The research team equipped their Ford van with light displays programmed to signal the vehicle's intentions, such as stopping or starting. For instance, a side-to-side -side movement of white lights indicated that the car would stop, while rapidly blinking lights signaled that it was about to start moving again. The goal was to create an international language of sorts for autonomous vehicle communication, potentially leading to industry standards in how these vehicles interact with their environment. Over the course of the study, researchers collected approximately 150 hours of driving data across 1,800 miles. This extensive data set aims to help determine effective communication strategies for autonomous vehicles, addressing key questions about how these cars can safely and effectively interact with pedestrians and cyclists. While the experiment may have seemed humorous or even absurd at first glance, it highlights an important aspect of developing autonomous vehicle technology, ensuring that these vehicles can communicate their actions clearly and effectively to those around them. As self-driving cars become more prevalent on our roads, understanding public perceptions and improving communication will be crucial for their successful integration into everyday traffic. This innovative research project not only offered insightful information about how the public responds to autonomous cars, but it also emphasized how crucial it is to create efficient communication strategies for driverless cars as they become more widely used. Jeep Abandoned at Border Fence In 2012, a group of smugglers attempted to drive an SUV over the U.S.-Mexico border fence using ramps but became stuck in the process. As border agents approached, the smugglers abandoned the vehicle and fled back into Mexico. This incident highlights the ongoing challenges faced by law enforcement in preventing illegal crossings and smuggling activities at the border. The use of ramps to scale the border fence illustrates the lengths to which smugglers will go to transport vehicles and contraband across international boundaries. Such tactics not only demonstrate a blatant disregard for legal protocols, but also pose significant risks to public safety and border security. The decision to abandon the vehicle upon the approach of law enforcement indicates a recognition of the potential consequences of their actions, including arrest and prosecution. Border security remains a critical issue, particularly in areas like Brownsville, Texas, where attempts to smuggle goods and individuals are frequent. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP agency continuously works to enhance its surveillance and enforcement capabilities to counteract these smuggling efforts. The challenges posed by organized crime and drug cartels further complicate these efforts, as they often employ sophisticated methods to evade detection. This incident serves as a reminder of the persistent threat of smuggling along the U.S.-Mexico border. Authorities must remain vigilant and adaptive in their strategies to address these challenges effectively. 
Enhanced cooperation between U.S. and Mexican law enforcement agencies is essential for tackling cross-border crime and ensuring that such smuggling attempts are thwarted before they can escalate. The 2012 failed attempt to drive an SUV over the border fence serves as a reminder of the continuous fight against smuggling at the border between the United States and Mexico. It is crucial for authorities to bolster their enforcement strategies and keep a proactive approach to border security because smugglers are always coming up with new ways to cross legal borders. The Pregnant Smuggler's Deception In September 2020, a Canadian woman attempting to leave Colombia was detained during a routine pat-down by customs officers. Their suspicions were raised when they noticed that her belly felt cold and hard, characteristics inconsistent with a real pregnancy. Upon further inspection, it was revealed that she was not pregnant, but had cleverly concealed four pounds of drugs inside a silicone belly designed to mimic the appearance of a pregnant woman. This disguise included realistic features such as a belly button and stretch marks, making her look convincingly pregnant even when her shirt was lifted. The use of a fake pregnancy belly as a smuggling method highlights the lengths to which individuals will go to evade detection while transporting illegal substances. Such tactics are particularly concerning in the context of drug trafficking, where smugglers often exploit societal norms and expectations to facilitate their operations. The woman's attempt underscores the ongoing challenges faced by customs officials in identifying and intercepting illicit goods concealed in creative ways. This incident is part of a broader trend where smugglers utilize innovative disguises and concealment methods to transport drugs across international borders. The sophistication of these tactics reflects the evolving nature of drug trafficking, as criminals continually adapt their strategies to avoid law enforcement scrutiny. Authorities must remain vigilant and enhance their detection capabilities to combat these increasingly complex smuggling operations. Moreover, this case raises significant ethical questions regarding the exploitation of societal perceptions of pregnancy. By using a fake belly, the smuggler not only engaged in illegal activity but also manipulated public empathy associated with pregnancy, which could have led to more lenient treatment had she not been caught. In conclusion, the attempt by the Canadian woman to smuggle drugs using a silicone belly illustrates the ongoing battle against drug trafficking and the innovative methods employed by smugglers. As law enforcement agencies continue to confront these challenges, it is essential for them to adapt their strategies and maintain vigilance in order to protect public safety and uphold the law. Smuggling Drugs in Body Implants the lengths to which smugglers will go to conceal drugs are astonishing, with some even resorting to surgical procedures to hide narcotics within their bodies. In September 2020, a woman arriving from Colombia raised suspicions during an airport security check in Spain due to her vague answers. After being patted down by a female officer, bandages with blood were discovered beneath her clothing, covering surgical incisions. Initially claiming she had just received implants, she was taken to a hospital where medical professionals extracted bags containing three pounds of drugs, valued at approximately $35,000 each. This incident illustrates the extreme and dangerous methods employed by drug traffickers to evade law enforcement, as it involves not only the concealment of illicit substances, but also the risk of serious health complications resulting from surgical procedures. Such methods can lead to severe medical issues including infections or drug overdoses if the concealed packages rupture. The phenomenon of body packing here, where individuals conceal drugs internally, has become increasingly common among traffickers. According to reports, smugglers may swallow drug-filled packets or insert them into body cavities to transport them across borders. These methods are fraught with danger. If a package breaks inside the body, it can result in acute drug toxicity or other life-threatening conditions requiring immediate medical intervention. Authorities are becoming more adept at identifying potential body packers through behavioral cues and physical examinations. However, as smugglers continue to innovate with their concealment techniques, such as using silicone implants, it poses ongoing challenges for customs officials. Enhanced screening technologies and training for border agents are essential in detecting these sophisticated smuggling attempts. These are all for today. 
If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more of such content. Soon we will be back with another spine-chilling episode. Till then, enjoy our other videos.